Hey guys, welcome to the channel. No, not saying that. Don't like that. Mm -mm. For today's video, I'm actually very excited. Very excited about. Extremely excited. We are painting on something that I purchased in my shop with me video. I got two pencil cases. This is four, two two pencil cases. And while that sounds kind of boring, it actually was not boring. I am actually future Marissa right here, and I've actually already painted both pencil cases, and I can tell you without a doubt, I think these two paintings are probably the best paintings that I've done on my channel. I think. I put so much effort into these two pencil cases that I actually ended up with around eight hours of footage to go through. So for that reason, I have decided to split this up into part one and part two. So this is part one. We're gonna paint the front and the back of one of these lucky pencil cases. And next week we'll come back and paint the other one. Let's just get started painting our first pencil case. Ooh. Okay, so as previously mentioned, I went to Michael's. I went to the clearance section of Michael's and they had these pencil cases for $3. Shiny pencil cases. So I naturally got two. They're very sparkly. They came in both blue and gold. What's inside? Nothing. Ripping off the tags. And I'm gonna start brainstorming. Or rather, I brainstormed off camera. Here are some of my ideas. And we are going to be creating a pencil case for Goldie, my mermaid goldfish squishy. Goldie the goldfish on a gold pencil case. <sighs> I do what I can. I tried to sketch something on the pencil case and realized nothing was going to happen and took out my white Angelus paint. The thing that attracted me to these pencil cases were one, how big they were, but also how sparkly they were. So it's really important to me that I have at least some of the sparkle still showing. So I did decide to only paint a portion of the pencil case. Once I had that white base coat down, I was able to sketch out my design on the pencil case and really plan out what I was doing. And now it's time for my Angelus leather paint. I have only used these one other time on some shoes, and I had a weird experience with them. In my one experience, the leather paint dried slightly different colors than I was intending. I'm trying to learn from my past mistakes, so this time I decided to make it very pastel and see how it dried. I tested out how this light blue would dry off camera, and then I painted it all over the pencil case. And you'll see, after I'm done painting it on this pencil case, the blue does dry to be a slightly darker color. Here we go. Darker. Okay, so now we need to mix together some of these colors for Goldie. I really wanted to get the colors exact. I mixed together some orange slowly and gently. I added some yellow in it. I also made the darker color for Goldie. Added a lot of yellow. And lastly, I mixed together some tan for Goldie's skin. I tried to create a brown color for the shading on her skin. More on that later. The first thing I did was give Goldie a nice coat of skin flesh so she doesn't look like she is a piece of paper in the wind. This process for filling in Goldie's features was actually quite stressful. Here's the thing. I did not mix enough of that blue color, the light blue background color, for me to make a drastic mistake. I thought I mixed enough paint, but I didn't really have a lot of the light blue left over by the time I was done painting the sea. And I really, really, really did not want to come into a situation where I had made a drastic mistake and then I had to do a touch up with light blue, but I ran out of light blue. If you don't know this already about Angelus leather paint, it is notoriously hard to remix the paint to get the exact color. Therefore, when I was filling in these large sections of Goldie, like her skin, her hair, her mermaid tail, I was really making sure that I was painting slowly and coloring inside the lines, or painting inside the lines. 
I was not about to run out of light blue and have to repaint the whole ocean. Once Goldie's major features were blocked in, it was time for details. Details, details, details. These are my favorite part of any painting. However, the shading here for Goldie, this brown color is just not correct. I don't like that at all, not one bit. Goldie, you look like a robot right now. There's no other way to say it. Your head looks disconnected. This needs to be fixed, but it won't be fixed for a little bit, guys. I'm only pointing it out because I want you guys to know that I will change that and fix it before the end of the video. I'm adding some details to Goldie's mermaid tail. She had some hot pink and some orange scales. It sounds wrong, but I believe it's correct. Goldie as a squishy also has a lot of blush on her cheeks, but they're not this neon. They're a little bit more faded, so I did have to work with it and kind of blend it until we were at a place where I was like, okay, I can live with these cheeks. Dipping into this darker blue color, and I started on the details for the ocean. I did not really get that far. I started on it, and then I was like, nope, I'm distracted. And you know what I'm gonna paint instead? Some goldfish. What? I know what you're thinking. Goldie, why? Why would she be friends with a goldfish? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I know, it's shocking. Just kidding. I, I don't think anyone is surprised that we're painting some goldfish that kind of honestly look like goldfish the snacks. They don't look like real goldfish. They just look like snacks. But are they smiling back? Yes. Yes, they are smiling back. And now we're going to fix Goldie from looking like an absolute robot. She looked like she had robot hands and robot arms and just a neck that was totally disconnected from her body. I feel like I may have fixed that by making the brown a slightly lighter shade. You tell me. Maybe this did absolutely nothing and I'm out of my mind. Mm. But I think it looks a lot better now that the brown has been lightened up. I gave Goldie some nice eyebrows that were freshly manicured. She looks like she's got some real nice detailed eyebrows. <laughs> anyway, I added some pupils to Goldie's eyes and I'd like everyone to notice that Goldie is looking down very kindly at her friends. Her goldfish friends who are smiling back at her, waving hello. The gang's all here. We belong together, you know, because they're all goldfish, or at least part goldfish. Yes, Goldie is mainly a mermaid, but she does have some goldfish ancestry. After that was done, I was ready to focus again on the details in the water. Part of the reason I stopped decorating the water and then moved on to the goldfish originally was because I felt like I didn't really have an idea for how I wanted to decorate the water. It was just this vast open blue blob. I feel like I put so much pressure on myself to make the water look realistic, which makes no sense considering Goldie is a cartoon. But once I freed myself of any expectations of what the water had to look like, I really had a lot of fun. I basically just decided to let go of what I thought water was supposed to look like, what cartoon water looks like, what real water looks like. I just let go of it all. And I was like, you know what? I'm creating my own type of water. And if it looks bad, it's just one painting. It's okay. And I feel like that mentality helped me use my imagination way more. Let's talk about Goldie's mouth. Her upper lip specifically was looking so large that I wanted to make her mouth bigger, but then I messed it up by adding too big of a tongue and then I reshaped her mouth and added a new tongue and we just had a whole load of issues with her mouth. Truthfully, upon reviewing the footage, I feel like I could have left her mouth alone, but it looks okay after as well. It's now time for some details on Goldie's outfit. 
So I added some shading to her headband. I added a tiny little heart in the center of her bikini top, as well as some little dots around the bikini top and some extra shading to her stomach and around her bikini top. How many times can I say bikini top? Oh my gosh. She got some finishing highlights on her outfit, just around the rim of the mermaid tail, as well as the bikini top. Please stop. And one tiny highlight on her beautiful headband. It's time for the backside. Did you forget about this? Yes. I painted both the front and the back of both of these pencil cases. That is why this video really had to be split into two parts because I was essentially creating four paintings. I put a lot of detail work into these paintings. I really got very into it very invested in what I was creating, and it just took a really long time. I had a lot of footage, and I didn't want to give you a 40 minute video to watch. It's really for the best. After painting the blue base coat, I dipped into some orange and started painting on Goldie's mermaid tail. If you can't already tell, these two paintings are supposed to flow into each other. So on the back, we have the back of Goldie's mermaid tail, and then on the front, she's kind of swimming around and waving hello. I started off by painting these little diamonds in a checkered kind of fashion. A checkered fashion. That's a new one. You know what I mean. I was trying to create a checkerboard with these diamonds. I definitely did not create an exact checkerboard. They're a little messed up and wonky, but that's okay. It's a cartoon. It doesn't have to be exactly geometrical. It can be like a fun stylistic choice. It kind of is. And last but certainly not least, we did my decorations in the water. I know that this is just water and people make water all the time, but I am specifically very happy with this water because I feel like I was able to really use my imagination. I just feel like I may have created my own type of cartoon style here and that is basically why I'm happy with it. I look at it and I go, yeah, you know what? I thought of that on my own and I really like the way it looks and I could see myself like even creating water like this again in the future. And that is something that is very exciting to me. I signed my signature on the bottom right corner of the back of the pencil case, and here is what the final thing turned out looking like. We have the front of the pencil case with Goldie waving hello to her goldfish friends. Maybe I'm just being too excited about it, but I really love the way this one turned out. I think Goldie looks so cute. I love how sparkly and fun the water looks. I love the colors. And then we also have the back of the pencil case where we have the rest of Goldie's mermaid tail. Overall, I just had so much fun using the Angelus leather paint and I didn't realize how invested I would get in this project. I'm a leather paint convert now. I love it. Here is the front of the pencil case and the back of the pencil case. And wait, hold on. We have someone inside the pencil case. Goldie, how did you get in there? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know because I would love to make more things like this. And of course, don't forget to tune in for part two. Next week, we are going to be using a certain bunny for inspiration. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.